they come back, sure, helicopter so-and-so, go ahead, proceed as requested, blah, blah, blah. If I'd have been like, uh, uh, um, uh, can I can I transition your air airspace? Of course, they're going to be like, you're crazy. Hey, I'll do a quick radio call. Here's a tip. Combine base and final. Well, traffic helicopter, November 59. Boxtrot Sierra, right base turning final for runway 28, Plumas traffic. Oh, hey. Helicopter radio communications? You need some help with that? Just got that email. Gentleman said, hey, could you do a video on... Uh, Helicopter radio communications in coffee with Kenny. Third cup's ready. A little note for the day. A little progress each day adds up to big results. It works. It's how I live my life. It's how I did my helicopter training. It's how I do what I do now. So, oh, I'm gonna break my new cup. Oh, you think I'm looking a little rough? All right, well, how about we magically, through some cool editing, get to the airport and do a video for you. Bam, we're in the helicopter. First time I've done that in 10 years of making videos. Trans or transformed myself to another location in time. Hey, radio communications. Had a member say, hey, how about a copy with Kenny, a video on radio communications. We do have a free course, by the way, you can sign up for. But for the big tip is, Sound confident on the radio. Sounds pretty easy, but you know what? A lot of the uh, really simple ones are sound confident on the radio. When I first started, I had 300, first started uh, my second job, I had 300 hours. I had police department experience, fire department, towing service where I worked on the radios. And I started flying, and I was like, I was brand new to radios. And, uh, so that was struggle when I was learning, right? And then when I, even as a CFI, I was still struggling with the radio. And the old timer that taught me a lot of really cool stuff, I was flying in Cleveland in some really complicated airspace. We had Bravo, a couple Charlies, a class Delta, and we had to transition through all of them, you know? And I was kind of struggling one day. He was, you know, uh, testing me out, not, or, you know, checking me out for my new job. And he's like, Kenny, you wanna know what the trick is? Sound confident on the radio, even if you're not. And I thought, you know what? That's a pretty simple, that's a pretty simple uh, thing to say, but you know what, it works. He goes, the guy on the other end, especially in the tower, he doesn't know how nervous you are. If you at least sound confident, you'll, you're gonna get a lot farther than if you're fumbling around and acting like, you know, a complete dummy. And uh, he taught me that basically for transitioning through class Bravo airspace. And he goes, I'm telling you, if you sound confident on the radio, you'll be amazed at how that will help you. And it worked pretty quickly, pretty quickly, I caught on. If you sound confident, it makes you feel confident. And the way they respond back to you, if you just say like, hey, you know, so-and-so transitioning your airspace along the coastline, or, you know, or the shoreline, I need to go from here to there, blah, 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 blah. And they come back, sure, helicopter so-and-so, go ahead, proceed as requested, blah, blah, blah. If I'd have been like, uh, uh, um, uh, can I can I transition your air airspace? Of course, they're gonna be like, you're crazy. Hey, I'll do a quick radio call. Here's a tip, combine base and final. Well, that traffic helicopter, November 5-9, Boxtrot Sierra, right base turning final for runway 28, Plumas traffic. So there's another tip for you. I, I combine right base and final together in one radio call. You can certainly do right base on its own. You can certainly do final on its own. You can do them separately. But I found early in training, if I just combine the two, if I, when I'm on final and I'm getting ready to turn, when I'm on right base, getting ready to turn final, if I just say right base turning final, I just made two radio calls into one. Makes managing the aircraft much easier. So back to that, uh, my biggest tip for getting confident with the radio. With time, you will get confident. You know, here's the guy who, again, I had police department experience, fire department, towing service, where we had, I had radios and all this stuff. You know, it would run signal 10 to accidents, license siren, going to, you know, big events, getting in chases, all that kind of stuff. And then I get in a helicopter and I can't talk on a radio. So, if you're feeling silly about talking on a radio, know that if you sound confident, it's gonna go a long way. You're gonna get better with practice. And remember this. If you say something stupid, 
at least they're looking out for you. If, if even if you stayed the wrong way, at least they're they're looking. Other aircraft are looking. The guy in the tower is looking. Everybody makes mistakes. They'll you know will under, they'll understand it if you make a mistake. So practice makes perfect. You know, the more practice, the better you'll get. Knowing the airspace, knowing what's going on in and around you, you know, is going to go a long way in uh, just making the, the flight better. The, the more knowledgeable you are with anything, especially becoming a pilot, it's knowledge, man. It's all about knowledge. So make sure you understand where you're going. You do your pre-flights. You do all your checks along your route, the place that you're going. Find out where parking is. Make the phone calls. Make sure everything's open and available. If you're flying with confidence, then you could be confident on the radio as well. If you're kind of doing things kind of half-assed, your radio work's going to come out half-assed as well. So I think some of the biggest tips that I can give you for all these things we're doing, the Coffee with Kenny videos, the simplest, simplest tips are the easiest, or the simplest tips are usually the best, right? People keep overthinking all these things they're asking me, and they dive in heavy, and I'm like, whoa, 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 you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. That's my biggest tip. We do have a free radio communications course. I'll find the link for that, and I'll put it down below the video so that you can sign up for that free course and uh, go and check it out. We'll jump in. So we should probably update the videos. I haven't been in there in a while, but I know we've got one. And I know it's free, and we haven't even promoted it in a long time. So there's our tip. Let us know your comments about what you've done, tips and tricks for learning to talk on the radio, what's worked for you. Tell us a funny story about something stupid you did. Those are always good. We love stupid stories. We are going to go back and finish the copy as of now. And I'm back home. So I hope that helps. I'm really enjoying doing these videos for you guys. This has been a blast. Make sure you subscribe and click the little bell when you do so that you can be notified of the daily video. This is day 41 of a daily video. I'm having a blast. Started out a month, 40 days ago, 41 days ago. Out of the blue doing a coffee video and boom, here we are. And this reminds me of 10 years ago, I started making videos promoting my little helicopter company, trying to save my livelihood. Shooting from a, a beat up old trailer that I lived in because I owned a helicopter. I've told that story. I beat that to a dead horse 10 years later. I don't live in a trailer anymore. Very thankful for that. Had to do what I had to do. Put your comments down below. And remember, a little progress every day adds up to big results. And you can take that to the bank, man. I'm telling you. Hey, subscribe, like, comment below, thumbs up. See you tomorrow.